Hi, I'm Stephen with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about the AKG D12 VR. Now, throughout this blog, I'll be referring to this mic as the D12 or just simply the VR, but I don't want it to be confused with AKG's original D12. The D12 VR is marketed and cosmetically modeled as a vintage reproduction microphone, hence the VR. Uh, but nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, the mic is completely different from the original D12, which is what we'll touch on later on in this blog. Um, the D12 VR is AKG's newest mic that is specifically tailored for kick drums and other low frequency instruments such as uh, bass amps or uh, djembes. Now in this blog, we're going to cover a few things here, the general specs of the D D12 VR, uh, its comparison to the original D12 and also to the popular D112. Now for starters, the D12 VR is a dynamic microphone that utilizes a cardioid pickup pattern uh, for max gain before feedback. The D12 also has three active filters built into the mic. This means that when the phantom power is supplied to this microphone, uh, there are three settings that come alive to actively affect the mic's frequency response, therefore uh, changing how the mic sounds. Now the frequency range of the D12 VR is 17 Hz to 17K, and AKG has listed this mic to have an SPL rating of 164 dB. Now from a design standpoint, uh, this microphone is pretty cool looking, and it's modeled after the original D12, but that's where the similarities begin to end. AKG's original D12, released in 1952, and it was said to be the first no mic to be solely dedicated to kick drums and other low frequency instruments. Like the VR model, the original D12 is a dynamic microphone that utilizes a cardioid pickup pattern, but the frequency range of the original D12 is only 20 Hz to 12K and its SPL is rated at 134 dB, which is fairly low for a mic used in high SPL environments. The D12 VR is also not to be confused with AKG's most popular kick drum mic, the D112. It not only looks completely different, but it's also said to have one of the best tailored sounds for kick drums, especially big kick drums. The D112 type pickup pattern, frequency range, and SPL are all pretty much the same as the VR. However, it's the actual response curve of the 112 that sets it apart from what makes it a popular choice for front of house engineers. The first model of the D112, which I used, did not have the integrated mic adapter, which is now available on the D112 Mark II model. All right, now back to the VR. Let's talk about these active filters. Uh, there are three positions of the active filter switch marked by red, green, and blue LEDs. Each have recommended uses from AKG, but uh, you know, no one's gonna know if you try it for something different. Now before you activate these filters, it's really good to know that every time you activate a filter, it's applying a minus 10 dB pad. The middle position, marked by a red LED, enables a mid-range scoop. And according to AKG, this is recommended for use with open kick drums. The left position, marked by a green LED, enables a low frequency boost and a mid-range scoop, recommended for achieving a vintage sound. The right position, marked by a blue LED, enables a mid-range scoop, a low frequency boost, and a high frequency boost. This is recommended for use with closed kick drums. Most of our customers at MikeReynolds.com use the D12 VR mostly as a kick mic. Part of this is because it comes with the AKG Premium drum mic set. The D12 VR can be rented individually as well and be used for not just kick drums, but for floor toms, bass amps, djembes, or even to mic the bottom of a Leslie cabinet. You should experiment with the deactive filters to get the desired sound you want from the selected source. Well, that's going to wrap things up on the AKG D12 VR. Keep an eye out for the blog on the AKG Premium Drum Mic Set. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com. <laughs>